Unit 6, Lesson 3, The Arab Countries There are 22 Arab countries in the world and these Arab countries are found on two continents, Asia and Africa. Today we are going to learn that 12 of these countries are found in Asia and 10 countries are found in Africa. We will learn them by reading only, no need to learn them by spelling. Let's state the Arab countries in Asia. Oman, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Lebanon, Kuwait, Syria, Qatar, Palestine, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Jordan. Now the Arab countries that are found in Africa, Libya, Egypt, North Sudan, Algeria, Morocco, Somalia, Djibouti, the Comoros Islands, Mauritania, and Tunisia or Tunisia. Now let's have a look at the Arab countries map. The countries colored in beige or yellow are the Arab countries. We start from the left by Mauritania and north of Mauritania we can see Morocco. Next to Morocco or south to Morocco actually Algeria. East of Algeria we have Libya and north of Libya we can see Tunisia, east of Libya we can see Egypt, and south of Egypt there is Sudan, a very big Arab country, and down south east we can see Djibouti, and south east again we can see Somalia, and next to Somalia the Comoros Islands. Now the Arab countries in Asia the biggest one, of course, is Saudi Arabia, surrounded by all other Arab countries. From the, from the north, we can see Iraq, Jordan, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, and in the east, we can see Kuwait, Emirates, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Bahrain and south we can see Yemen and Oman or Oman. Now we're going to learn about two important countries that are found in Africa. They are Arab countries Egypt and Morocco. First Egypt it is an Arab country in Africa and I want you to learn something. When we mention the name of an Arab country, I want you to try to mention also the name of the capital city of this country. So, Egypt, the, the capital city of Egypt is Cairo. And it is one of the famous, most famous capital cities in the world. There is also a very famous large river that flows or runs through Egypt, which is the River Nile. It also runs through many other African countries and it is very important because it is the source of fresh water for all these countries and for Egypt as well. Uh, for animals, Egypt used to be the home to many animals including crocodiles, cheetahs, hyenas, cobras and many birds. But again, I want to say something, that uh, many of these animals, they nowadays, they don't exist in Egypt. They are not found in Egypt. Maybe only some kinds of hyenas or cobras and birds are found in the deserts of Egypt. But cheetahs no longer live in Egypt. Crocodiles also no longer live in Egypt. Rarely, um, they can find um, a few number of crocodiles but actually they no longer live in Egypt. The flag of Egypt, as you can see here in the picture, it is a tricolor. Tricolor means that it has three colors, red, white, and black, with the national emblem in the center. In the white stripe, there is a national emblem. Emblem means symbol or picture, a small picture that shows us something. And here the emblem or the symbol is an eagle. This is the picture of uh, the Egyptian flag.